Well, my comments section's been out of control just by talking about the new Horseman comic from Ripaverse and Chuck Dixon. Of course, I've uh, really loved Chuck Dixon's work over the years, and I think that shows, and it shows in a way that I had a little fun with this last night. As I was laying in bed, uh, as one does, I sit here and I come up with comic book concepts. <laughs> and this is what you do when you're a comic book writer. And uh, I decided to have a little fun with it. A lot of people are just like a little too uptight about comic books on the internet these days. Uh, but I like to have fun. This is an entertainment business after all, and that's what we're trying to do. I really appreciate you guys being there, whether you like Horseman or not. Uh, you guys are my friends and, of course, my uh, viewers. And, of course, I hope my comic book readers also. I hope you enjoy what I've done on that front. So I have a little pitch for the Ripaverse, and I want to know what you think about this. Uh, because we know that the Horseman concept exists. It's going to be a street-level fighter. It looks kind of like a Nightwing kind of comic. And uh, Chuck Dixon's writing it with Joe Bennett on art. And we've seen the concept art of this. It looks like it's going to be uh, as a, a, a definitely like hard hitting action piece, which we expect from Chuck Dixon at this juncture. Now, Chuck did uh, the most definitive run on Nightwing, which is beautiful. I've actually got the trade paperbacks that DC uh, did of the run uh, behind me uh, on the it's on the bottom shelf, so you can't see it, but <laughs> but it is there. I promise you I've got all of them. They didn't finish that run, but it was really good stuff. I loved that, and I loved his Robin back in the day. It's arguably some of the stuff that got me into comics when I was younger to begin with. And so uh, here's my pitch. Let's get into this in just a moment. I'm going to pitch you my current comic first, though, if you guys don't mind. My name's John Delarose. If you're new to the channel, I am a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. This is All Eyes on Ashley. It is with a uh, it is with a wonderful DC artist, Mike S. Miller, also who did Injustice. We have like a heavy-hitting creative team here. This really should be a thousand backers. Like, uh, if if it, if you just like look at our resumes, it's crazy. Uh, and of course, you can get in on this and be uh, one of the like few collectors who will own this at the end of the day, uh, which is really cool. This is about a guy Spencer who's going after this hot blonde in the office right here. Obviously, her name's Ashley, and he's trying to figure out how to get her attention. Of course, uh, you know when a guy ends up being a simp or a beta cuck or whatever, it doesn't work out very well. He has to man up, and that's what this story is really all about. At the end of the day, you're really going to love it. I wrote a beautiful script. I just finished editing it uh, for the dialogue to go to the letterer. So the book is 100% done. This will be coming out very, very soon. It's on Kickstarter and in the link in the description below. Thanks, guys, for checking it out and supporting our work. Now, a little more background on me, if you guys are not familiar with my work. that I've done uh, 18 full novels, uh, which I've been releasing since 2016. And of course, my bestseller is The Adventures of Baron Von Monocle right here. Uh, this has sold over 30,000 copies, and I appreciate all my readers on that front. Of course, uh, I've got uh, six books out and a bunch of short stories in that universe. I've done a ton. I actually did my first comic short story for my Subscribestar supporters, which I, is a beautiful work. I might want to do a full length of that as well. But on comics, I've also done a ton of work. We've got fantasy books like Dave's Volt. We've got uh, science fiction books like Overmind. You guys probably came in on this. This is my most successful one on the comic fair. And then Flying Sparks, of course, also as a as a series has sold more than 5,000 copies. And so I know how to do a good superhero tale that's on the lighter side with a female lead. And this is where I kind of get into uh, my pitch here for the Ripaverse because while Flying Sparks has a wonderful storyline, wonderful universe to itself, I think I could be a good addition to it with my uh, track record here of how to write these characters. And so I came up with an idea, and uh, here it is, my friends. Uh, here it is, Shadow Mare. <laughs> and uh, this is just a, uh, a quick, like, little sa a sample art, of course. I said, look at it, and uh, you'll see, you know, I like uh, I like the little uh, cute blonde superheroes like uh, like Supergirl or Stephanie Brown or, of course, uh, Metagirl from Flying Sparks. And uh, Shadow Mare, I, I envision to be something like that. So she's a female admirer of horsemen. She took up the mantle to fight crime without his permission, kind of starts tailing him around and uh, and trying to, like, fight her own crime, you know, gets herself into a little bit of trouble, and, uh, and of course, has to be bailed out by him uh, during the course of this, is my thought about this. Kind of just irritates the guy, but she is determined, a hardworking person, and I like this kind of, like, uh, you know, against all odds hero tale. It's like, I'm determined to do this. I'm going to will my way into this. I'm going to work really, really hard. It's a, it's a Horatio Alger 
uh, uh, sort of story. And if you guys are not familiar with that, Her the Horatio Alger stories were ones like that were written in the Depression. It's all about like the American dream. Like you work hard and you will find success. And so while she may not start out as like the hero who is just like already there and, and badass like like Horseman is, she's going to work her way into it and she's she's going to do everything she can to prove herself. Is my thought here. She wants to be the hero. But is she just getting in the way of Horseman's mission? So you've got the conflict there between the, the Horseman character and her to draw off of. Of course, I can build a beautiful uh, secret identity for her where she's, uh, where she's of course, somebody who's super relatable uh, in what she does. And uh, it could be a lot of fun on this level. So uh, I'm not going to talk about the secret identity. I have ideas for that right now. Um, I'm thinking a... A college girl who is uh, kind of like got some wealthy parents in order to like facilitate her uh, sort of a utility belt and things like that. And uh, and uh, maybe her uh, motorcycle uh, or, or other vehicles or things like that. And uh, because she's got that going on, people people underestimate her quite a bit. They, they assume she's going to be just this pretty vapid girl who doesn't really have anything going for her. But she really does have that that heart, that spirit and, of course, uh, the mental acuity in order to take down criminal organizations and that's what's going to happen uh in my pitch at least so i don't know what do you think about this is this a good idea <laughs> i hope that uh of course uh, i don't want to pressure eric or anything like that this is just for fun on my youtube channel but if you know if eric does want to do it I'm, I'm happy to do so also but let me know what you guys think i'd love to hear from you uh leave a comment down below hit the like and subscribe button make sure to check out my books in my online bookstore of course flying sparks uh, we'll give you a good sampling of what uh, I'd be about on this. And All Eyes on Ashley is my current project, which I would love for you to back on Kickstarter. Thank you guys so much for being there and supporting our independent comic book efforts along the way. Ooh, we'll be back soon.